Hey Leo, Shara Kennedy here. Today we're going to be doing your reading. It's whatever comes out, whatever you need to know, whatever spirit is trying to tell you. So make sure that you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And if you would like to get a personal reading, you can do so at sharakennedytarot.com. So let's go ahead and get into it and get you guys some focus cards. Give me two focus cards for Leo. Two focus cards. Okay, the first one is self-love. Overall energy is joy. And let's get another one. Okay, and detachment. So transformation. So you need to focus on, I think, respecting yourself and breaking free of things that no longer serve you. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot. And if you would like to know what cards that I'm using, you can look down in the description. I do have them on there. And then I've got some listed on my website. I am a Sagittarius, so I am not really organized. So I'm just not built for it. <laughs> so anyway, but I mean, my abilities is reading tarot, not technical stuff. Although I am learning, okay? It's always good to improve yourself by learning things that you don't know. All right. What does Leo need to know? Okay, so you're needing to move on from a situation because it's like things are no longer hopeful. It's like you're losing faith in the situation. It's like losing hope, losing faith. What is a star reversed about? Okay, so... It's like whatever is being offered, you're not really happy with it. And you're tired of fighting to make whatever this is work. It's like whatever is being given to you is not enough. So you're losing faith in the situation. You're tired of trying to make things work. What is this about? Again, the Queen of Cups, that is about listening to your intuition, listening to your heart, going within. And it's like, how do I really feel about this situation? What, what do, what can, what can I do to emotionally, it's like thinking from an emotional standpoint or an emotional point of view. This is also about self-care and healing. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that, you know, you're dreaming. I, this is this is a love reading. This is turning into a love reading. So it's like whatever um, you're dreaming about, you know, with the star reversed, it looks like it's not happening. So... You know, you want that Two of Cups energy. And sticking out here is the lovers, you know, um, bonded through emotional attachment. Tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. Okay, they could be married or they could be going through a divorce. Or this person, and sorry for the sniffling, guys. I am still getting over this cold. It's been going on for like, going on three weeks or something. Two, two and a half, three weeks. Um, I can, can you guys give me some remedies? Um, comment me some remedies because I am like literally getting desperate at this point. I have done tried it all. So I don't know why it's happening. But anyway, you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody who is... I feel like this person could be married or they are attached to somebody else.
Mm -mm. No. Scratch that. Okay, they are connected to you. Why are they not giving? Because, I mean, with the lovers and the... You guys saw me shuffle. Like, these came up like that. So, they're very attracted to you. So, actually, they're coming toward you in an honest way. Okay? They... But it's from their point of view, from their level of consciousness, that is, um, like, honesty. They're... That's from their level of consciousness. It's like you guys have two different love languages. Love languages here. Okay, so we have strength reversed, three of pentacles, and the eight of cups reversed. Leo, they do care about you. They do love you. But I feel like they're scared. They want to they want to they want to leave their options open at the same time. They they do love you when they um their actions are true. Okay? Even if they don't say it. Um but I see that you're, you're over here, you're wanting more, you know, you want more emotional, uh, you want more emotional language. So you're coming toward this person as you're starting to not trust them. You're like, I can't take any more of this, right? And it looks like you're going to move forward, you know, did, it's... You're just not happy with what's being offered. How should Leo come toward this person? Yeah, you need to restrict yourself from them, okay? Make them come toward you. Make them contact you. If they try to, like... But this is about... Let me Let me clarify... Okay, so you need to restrict yourself because it's like every time that you pick up the phone for them, every time that you text them back, um, it's like you do it on their time. So you need to take your strength back or take your um, respect back and kind of detach from this person. What is the blockage here? There's a lack of emotion, okay? There's, you're not hearing what you want to hear. And this person, I, they're honest, but they, they're honest with you in their actions. They do care about you, but at the same time, they know what they're doing. They are a very intelligent person from the looks of it. Mm. Okay, so there's there's a third party involved. For some of you. For others of you, if there's no third party involved, this person is breaking... They're tired... It's like their heart has been broken so many times that they're tired of it and they put on this King of Swords mask so that they don't outwardly feel what it is that they would like to because they're afraid of being hurt. They're afraid of being left. So what is your advice to Leo? Again, you know, this is this goes along. This is how you should come toward them. And this is your advice. Both of them are restricting themselves. They're both reserving their energy. They're both not um, giving any more to the situation. What is the most likely outcome going to be? 
Okay, if you do go through with this, Leo, your heart is going to get broken. Okay, um, you're not going to get what you want out of the situation. So the most likely outcome is that there's going to be repressed or suppressed emotions. You know, the whole reading is about emotions. And again, this is about self-love and detachment. Okay, so you're going to have to detach from this person in order to show love to yourself. Nobody is going to love you like you do. And especially if someone is not speaking your love language, if they're not giving you what you need emotionally to thrive in a relationship, or even if it's the beginning of the relationship, if they're not coming to you proper, then, you know, you have to cut that off and love yourself, respect yourself. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get a... Um, affirmation card for Leo. And this is like, you know, just little words of wisdom that we're going to end off with. Give me an affirmation card for Leo. Okay. I have my happiness on my own. What is it? I have. Oh, I base my happiness on my own accomplishments. Okay. So, uh, you know, whatever it is, it, it that goes along with self-love, you know, if you base your happiness on your own accomplishments, you're not worried about somebody else coming in and loving you or giving to you or, um, you know, it's, it's yours and yours alone. By the way, this font is like so fucking hard to read. If you can see that. All right. Give me another affirmation card for Leo. I am learning valuable lessons from myself every day. So again, it is about the self. So, all right, Leo, that is all that I have for you today. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I love you so much, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Love you so much. Bye.